All right, Laurel and I are back in uh, the, the east coast of Florida, back in the LZ project. Uh, the transformation, this mm -hmm. transformation this is gonna be insane. It's gonna go from dark yellow wooden to what do you call it? Well, it's gonna go from southwestern to uh, like it? a New York loft, modern mm. luxury. Yeah. It's gonna be really great. We have Waterstone involved, which is gonna mm -hmm. be transformational. I mean, Waterstone mm -hmm. makes some of the best faucets in the world. Yes. It's like the Bagani of, of faucets. Yeah. We're gonna put those throughout the house. So they're, they're involved. I'm actually flying out there uh, and I'm gonna video some stuff with them. So we'll have that on the channel. Um, the, you know, the show place cabinets to east side kitchen and baths. Um, yeah. Are going to be amazing, so we have that figured out. Um, Britannia, we got uh, yeah, so we are tile people, and so yes. we're filming the intro now, but um, we're going to jump into the project and have you guys kind of fly on the wall, follow us around as we figure out our railings, we figure out our glass and what we're doing there, our we lights. figure out yeah, uh -huh, lights yeah lighting, yeah. light fixtures, light control, as well as um, you know, figuring out where. Uh, you know what, what we talked about the doors and how we're gonna you know modify those and all that stuff so all, all kinds of stuff going on in this video but I think you're gonna want to you know mark this project mark this playlist is something you're gonna want to watch because it's gonna be really really cool so let's get into it okay so let's talk about this mat okay, okay. this is where our new entrance is gonna be yep and uh, so we need to say this is gonna be like that mudroom area that we talked about mm -hmm. with a bench this is gonna be a window and this is where our icon wall is going to come out. Yep. So then it's more like a foyer. This yep. is all coming out because there's no more dining seating area. Right. Yep. There will be a um, a countertop or counter height bar there. Yep. And then the bank cat will be uh, we out here. Right yep. So this door, like, how can we turn this into glass? Okay. Like that's so what we wanted to do was convert that to a window. So yeah, so so the window here, so Maddie, this is a what we gotta figure there. out. Do mm -hmm. we wanna do a knee wall here and then a window because we're doing the, the mudroom bench? Or do we want to make it all glass and put a cap as big as possible? Yeah, I mean we we just have to find a stucco person, that's the hard part, you know. Uh David can do that. Okay, that's right. So yeah, David can David do can it. David can do that. Okay. So bring the knee wall up, and so we have 84 from top of, from the knee wall to the to the top. Wall, yeah. See, gotcha. I think that would be better. Okay. Especially if we're going to do some kind of yeah, then you get a bench. bench. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Or I can divide it where the bench is going to be and put it two pieces of glass, but the molding of the of the window where the bench is it comes out of there. Probably you can attach it to that and yeah. don't worry about that bench hitting the glass. Yeah, I mean the yeah the bench should be furniture, right? So you would just yes. yeah. Uh, uh, east side gonna yeah. build it. Got yes. it. Okay. Got it. Okay. So yeah, so we'll plan on this okay. picture window. We'll go 84 inches from top to bottom, and then whatever whatever that width mm -hmm. is, and then whatever we got to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it's seamless, that'd be great. But I don't think that's the end of the world, right? Right. No. No. Yeah. So that would be as big as possible. They can yeah. do it bigger than 84. Go. We go as big as. Awesome. Yeah, okay. and I think gotcha. budget. Yeah, we like we don't have a lot conscious. of money budgeted for that for this, so we want to try to you know if it, if it needs to be two windows, then it yeah. saves us fifty percent. More, you know, yeah, that's fine. more mm -hmm. economical in the decision. Because what we're looking is a picture window, right? Correct. Yes. Because we can put it together, but I would hate to do that, mm -hmm. you know. But still, it's the same budget. Yeah. Now, what color frame you want? Um, we're gonna paint uh, this all gray, right? Mm -hmm. So black. We'll, we'll talk about that either black or gray. Okay. Yeah. Also, do you get a lot of sun there? Um, well, I don't think so because it's no. under the covering. Yeah, yeah. they got. They have, have that. Do, they if, have the little roof there. If I don't have to do double yeah. paint, I can yeah. go with half inch glass. Mm -hmm. Probably laminate or something, then I can go bigger. Okay. Okay. That's all fine. right. That's a good idea. Now this. This looks like 1972, right? We need this to be the door, right? Yeah. Right. Doors okay. With, with nice um, ladder handles. Yeah. The yeah the. Like a residential. Look. Yes. Yes. The, the, that's perfect. The I'm less the less framing the better, right? Right. More yeah, more style. Right. Right. Okay. It, Single the, door, door, pair doors. Um, I don't know. What do you think? I'd say pair. Okay. 
because it's the entrance. In it's the, the new way. entrance. No, so yeah, exactly. Yeah. We have to accommodate a little bit smaller with rate, but no wider than that, so we don't have to break stucco. Correct, yes. Yeah. yeah, the less work, and then we could leave the shutters, the hurricane shutters, and all that stuff alone. Yes, correct. Yes. Because we're not, at this point, we're not messing with the outside of this house. It's going no. to be the craziest thing ever. You come up with this green, you know, weird looking yeah. yellow house yeah, yeah. to like this insane, but. Yeah. Um, but we will get to that. We'll see. Yeah. Yes, we'll get to okay. that. Yes. Okay, so, so that takes care of that. Yes. Okay. So, um, all right, so then let's maybe walk into here. Okay. Okay, so now we got this mud room here. And so these, this is Britannia, who is doing all of our tiling and all of our uh, flooring. And so we are, this is where this entire cabinet is going out all the way to the end of the wall. And this is where we had showed you that we're going to have the black fluted, uh, tiling all the way up here then in the center is going to be the floor that continues up and that's where the TV is going to be and then again the fluting all the way up to the ceiling and then this is just going to be uh, the window staying and this is just going to be the same plaster walls just painted and then we'll put a, pr a piece of furniture right here Next week, we're going to go shopping in Atlanta with Colette and Adam, which is going to be a lot of fun. So furniture is more going to go this way now, not this angle. It's going to be more this way. And then over here is going to be the banquette and counter height bar top all the way here. It's going to be great. Hey guys. Really good. David, our painter, nice and whatever else I need. <laughs> so as you guys are walking around, if you want to follow us around, we're kind of going through each thing, but we're going to paint every piece of trim. We're going to take the doors off, okay. refinish those, and we got that. <laughs> but this is going to be gutted. We're going to gut the, gut the place. Okay. <laughs> David just walked in and goes, Whoa, what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all this is ladders. coming out. All that's coming <laughs> out. You know, so all that stuff is coming out. Yes. Okay, so let's see here. In, let's see, we don't have East Side yet. Um, east Side's not coming. He's not coming? No, he's okay. afraid of the rain. So. <laughs> yeah, we are doing this during a hurricane. Well. I love it. Yeah, we are. Okay. Um, so you know, Sean, since there's that beam right there, that would be a perfect place to kind of make that as our stopping point yeah. and do the tile on the inside of that beam okay. all the way over to the end of the wall, though. Yeah. Matt, you'll still have to shift these over so and keep it tight to this place. He's, he's going to do the glass. This is going to become a big window. We need to build a knee wall. So you want to you want to get your stucco skills back out? Can you can you build us a knee wall there? Okay. So we're gonna do an 84 inch window, and so we need a roughly three foot knee wall. So this this door's coming out. This is gonna be reframed, uh, and so we'd have to do you know block and a little bit of you know we can help with the drywall. The thing that Mike can't do is we don't do we don't know how to do stucco. Okay, I can get a stucco. I can have a stucco. Mm -hmm. look at it. Okay, cool. Yeah, I got 96. Okay. It will be probably like a foot knee wall. Unless you want to go to the bench height. Yeah, you want, we want to go bench height. So, go, right? Yes, bench, bench height. height. That would yeah. be the perfect. Yeah. Yes. And then the mall, you'll see it all around. So, yes. the window right so there. that'll make yes. the window a little less yeah, sizable. Yeah, it's like, like six yeah. feet, pretty much. Right, got it. right. Okay. I think that... Usually, what's yeah. the typical height? 20 inches, something like that? Uh, inches? 18, 20 18, inches, yeah. 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 So that's pretty much. Yeah. Okay, cool. Look. So Laurel has a, you know, a Benjamin Moore color palette where we're going to paint all the tongue and groove like we did okay. at my house back in the day. And we, we need to seal all the, caulk all the joints, so factor that in. Okay. And then, you know, obviously we'll have to scaffold this. This railing's coming out, okay. so we'll be doing new uh, metal. Um, these guys will be doing yeah. uh, metal, metal railings, so we won't have to paint that. Railing okay. all the way up. Um, all your whole kitchen cabinets, everything's out. All it's coming out. There'll all be Euro high gloss cabinets, um, and then uh, actually the ceiling is getting tiled. So um, we'll have full backlash and tile. So not a lot of 
There's not a lot of wall painted surfaces, but no, a lot of there's trim. Not. It's just a lot of trim yeah. and yeah. ceiling. They spray the reading before they install. Excuse me. Um, well, again, it's going to be the, the, that Euro cable style that okay. we're going to pull all this railing out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the biggest, obviously, and you can see, same thing as my house. Remember that? We had all that mold we had to deal with. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put a fan, a large fan in, you know, so we can get some air circulating in this place. Could that stop the mold in your house? Mm -hmm. Well, you yes. cock the joint, put the fan in, and then that yeah. solved and you that want problem. To cock this and paint it? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I need a quote on. Oh, you know what other glass we needed to do? That. Another entry? We need to get rid of that old school glass. So these would just be direct. This comes out, we can put just regular glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want clear, you want something more texture modern also. I got a little pad of things. Yeah, hey, Laurel. Glass here? Well. Clear? Yes. I think the thing is, can these? This we'll, comes out. Can, yes. This comes oh, out. This yeah. comes out. Yes. I no, mean, definitely. they're stunning this away. This away. in their own yes. style and right. It's just so. I think what we do in this, let's just wait till we paint it and see how it feels. Because, I mean, this is, it does still have that kind of southwestern pattern, but the gold and the glass, it's so beautiful that maybe it could blend into some kind of a modern feel once we okay. get it all painted. So let's get a proposal, okay. how much that would be. Mm -hmm. And then also, too, just has that as a right, got it. secondary thought. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So, I think so this comes out, that comes out, all of that comes out, okay. and then um, all the way to there. And so then, how do we tie in? What happens here is the question. Yes, the, that was our question. Yeah. Are we keeping the new wall, and uh, can we? Are we keeping these big posts, or they can be just, just probably cut down like this, or like this, whatever it's easier. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And just have the two by two posts in the front. That's what I'd prefer. Yeah. 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 Again, but keeping with the, the whole modern. Because these are feel. too chunky for our yeah. style, yeah, right? Yeah, they are. Yeah. They're yeah. beautiful, though. But yes, I know. Yeah. Not what we're looking so for. much in this house is beautiful, but it just doesn't. It's the wrong time. It's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wrong people. Wrong. wrong, style. wrong yeah. Wrong yes. everything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. if we can continue the angle, are we keeping the new wall? Are we replacing anything on the? I don't think so. And no, so I think if we paint it, I think that then it will just kind of blend so in. So this is going to be tiled. Yes. Okay. And they'll have a Schluter, like a Schluter joint at the, you know, on each tile. That's going to match the, uh, the cable. Steel, the steel cable. Yeah. And then they're going to tile, I think, the knee wall here. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, Sean. Yes. Tiling the knee wall here. Could we? I don't think that was ever discussed, but that's a good idea. So do we pull Could this we? trim off of the knee wall here? Like, how do we tie their modern like cable system to? So we're going to tie all the stairs. Would taking we? Taking that whole stringer out. This is all going to be gone and, and so, be an open staircase. And... Right. So while well, all this is coming out, and then that, that's where they're putting the you know like kind of that cable style Euro mm -hmm. style railing. Yes, so... so our question is, do we? I mean, do we paint this or do we tile over this? No, don't tile I think that. that. I, would, I would paint that. I would cut this off and build, build right. on top of that. OK. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Yes. Suggestion? Yes, sir. What's going to be, is it going to be metal tubing? It's going to be cable. Aluminum? Yeah, the but cable. Aluminum tubing? Yeah, what is the, it's, what is the? Aluminum. Aluminum. aluminum, yes, yes. Because I can yeah. clad that thing all with uh, aluminum clad and matching that tube also, make it look like all part of it. Oh, I love it. Yeah, that's yes, cool. I love that. That's fabulous. But we're not tiling over the new wall, right? No. No, no, no. No, you, you no. Do, because no, but that's, yeah, because tiling is not a really good idea. Why? Because when we drill, when we yeah, tile, yeah. cracks, yeah. I mean, it's yeah. going to crack. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, we're talking about the same thing. Yeah, yeah I can clad it. And clad it. it. Either yeah. or that's or perfect. Same Let's color, do that. It's all part of it. I think love what we talked about is just painting it. Yes. But I think that cladding it will then tie it all in. So cladding, that. And we do that all the way around? I will do at least this exterior that will look. Yes. Perfect. Okay. And the interior probably just paint it or something to match that color or something, but definitely the outside. Yes. You're gonna see all so all the outside. Okay. Because all those columns are going out, right? Yes. All color, that's all yes. 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 Absolutely. So we're gonna demo 
Are we going to take that piece of base molding off of there yeah. all the way around? So probably you don't even need cladding in there. Probably the drywall will paint the, the, If not, you can, you can make it out of cladding. Okay. I love you can the cut, cladding. You can cut it right there and leave that and I just clad that over. Yeah, because you, you, like little... you guys will have yes. your, your aluminum beam where that, where that post, post is. Yes. Uh -huh. And that'll be inside a little bit. We can do, right. do it, but we the can do it little, two right? ways. We can mount it on the outside or we can mount it on the top. It's mm. up to you. Oh, face mm -hmm. posts. Yeah. There will be two posts, so we'll have one on this side and one because on this side. I, either way, we have it on the top or face. Or okay. The three inches? Well, it's two inches. Two inches, we okay. About, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sometimes about, when they do yeah. the two like that, I can clad it also and make a whole solid tube because I did one like that for a customer. Okay. Okay. Because they did wire. Okay. And I came after. We could do two, three inches, but then the top is, has to be wider as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like the two inch. Yeah, like two yes. inch and the yeah, top. Yeah, two inches two is inch. typical. Yeah. yeah. Two inch one looks nice. Yes. Okay. okay. Good. Okay. okay. Great. See, yeah. this is why we brought the team together. Yeah, 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 this is yeah. why we're all meeting together <laughs> in the, during a hurricane. Okay. <laughs> what else do they, these guys, need to? What else do we need to okay, look at here? Okay. So, okay. So, Luis, we need to talk about like shower doors and things like that. Okay. Um, I think these guys are good, right? Okay, you guys yeah. got everything that you yeah. need for the stairs. I'll just delete that section because I do have it as a separate okay. instrument, yeah. and I'll resend you the estimate. Okay, okay, okay perfect. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Perfect on that. And then when we are done with all this demo, all I need is when we have the new wall yep. clear, we can come and take exact measurements. Yeah, and then you can order and have access. And we'll okay. see if this is coming out, how right. it's coming out all together. Yep. So. so our plan is to yeah. demo and we'll have it demoed in a you know, week and a half or two weeks or something like that. We'll have the thing demoed and then we can have everybody who needs to come and order stuff, we can, you know, kind of do that. Right. What What's the time frame? Is it about a, you know, a couple it's weeks? It's about I'm, four to six weeks. That's okay. So we'll have, we'll do this yeah. first and we'll have you come out yeah. I was going to say, yeah. yeah, well, and I was going to tell you too, like, I just checked with a couple of my furniture companies. They're like yeah. 12 weeks out. Got it. Yeah. So, yeah. We are all yeah. pretty busy. Yeah. 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 Very busy. <laughs> and we're talking about, part of the reason why we're getting together here is that we, you know, we paid the deposits on the tile, paid the deposit on the cabinet, so those are in transit. Right. Uh, and then um, we'll get the furniture ordered and then yeah. that'll dictate when we pull this off. But you know the target is November, December. But yes. if we have to push, we can push. I know, right? Because there uh, really isn't any. Right. Yeah. We want to try to do it because we're putting them out as well, and right. so we want to try to do it in, in as you know in a reasonable time. And then I'm I don't do this for a living, so well, I just, as we make much videos, as they're so. traveling, we might be okay. Yeah. That's yes. True. Yeah. As much as you know, Austin's on his uh, world tour. Okay. You know, another thing is too is this gate will no longer need to be here because this will all be tile, it won't be carpet anymore on this yeah, yeah but when it gets up there where it transitions to carpet maybe we look and putting a nice a nicer gate yeah up there a billion to build one. Of course yeah so then you can't see it but yeah. yet it looks kind of nice so maybe yeah. take that out and show us something for a gate for up there we can match exactly the railings that's Got exactly it. perfect it, uh, yes they would love that Jesus yeah the beach in New Smyrna. yes we did, if you guys go over to a restaurant like that so it's on the beach mm. we did all the railings there yeah it was knocked down last year from the hurricane they redid uh, the whole thing oh, cool. and it's pretty nice oh that's so right. cool so and that's then we it. have gates with cables Okay, cool. So let's just do a matching yeah. uh, gate that goes with the cable up there so that then she can keep from the, the pups getting up there. Okay, so yes. it will be this way, right? It correct. will be this way, okay. yep. correct? Yeah, yep. so yep. the measure really quick yes, so we can add yep. not to have surprise. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. So, okay. all these doors in here, see the goofy little southwestern business mm -hmm. i figured we'd probably take them off take okay. them to the shop and get rid of that yeah laurel would we keep the school the square yeah we could take keep the kind of the shaker kind of look just because the doors then would go but these gonna stay unless yes. we yeah yeah that's an insert yeah, you it's can a, take them off. Yeah. It's an insert. Yeah, but just, then just a trim work. They're going to be painted? Yes, they're going to oh, be painted. Okay. Yes. So they'll be just a flush? Yes. Flush yeah, well, we don't want this. You don't want that? We don't want this. Okay. Because it looks too southwestern. Okay. So we want it clean and modern. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, Matt, we have not talked about any of the door hardware. We'll have to get that, yeah. 
Okay. To find that. So I would say doing some kind of black. Yep. So we keep this? No, I think take that off. And do flat. Just take all the, yeah, and just make them flat and then get some cool linear uh, door handles. All the door handles. So we got to, okay. you know, and there aren't a lot of doors in here, so. Yeah. But put that in our, in our quote where we, yes. every single door in here, we need to take off and refinish. Yeah. So uh, we don't need to walk through the kitchen, really, but I think okay. Luis needs to see the, what the master bathroom okay. would be. Okay. okay. We'll yeah, that's a little powder bath so, that we're doing. Yep. So we'll be doing this. Oh, I need a measurement on that, too. Yeah, this comes out, that comes yeah, out. All that's coming out. Yeah, all that would. How they, how they put it. Uh, here, but if they put a glue and they're going to try to rip it to maybe damage the veneer on, uh, on the door on the plywood. you know it's just a skinny so know, I would say let's if veneer. we're going to ruin the doors leave the molding just take these off if yeah. possible yeah yeah because that's a separate pieces okay perfect then just leave that we'll paint yeah. it all is one it on color. both sides is it on yeah. that only oh, yeah. half shoot yeah. It's on yeah. all the doors. I mean, it got that door. Yeah, so all this is good. That's gonna go. Got any yeah. got any charities or customers we could uh, repurpose? All? This is all expensive stuff, you know. I know. All yeah. custom yeah. made. Yeah. We're One gonna of find. Your viewers said that they're. We're gonna find some. Habitat of humanity. With yeah, we're gonna find somebody to connected. donate it all to for sure. Connected. Okay. If we're gonna leave the stringer here, are we cutting yeah. posts just at the fall the same yeah. angle, and then there, he's, if he's gonna cap it? We'd probably be cutting all the posts at that level if he's gonna right. veneer. I'm pretty, right. sure, I'm pretty sure. Right. Yeah. Just right. cut them all flush, mm -hmm. and, then, yeah. and then that gives them yeah. something stout to attach their posts yeah. to. So we'll well. do that first, so yeah. then they can get come out and measure and order. Take yeah. Take out the, the blocks. But yeah. once yeah. we once we get all, them all squared away, then we'll we'll. Yeah, because all that's just trim, Laurel. That's all. Yeah. Just trim, right. Except for the, the obviously the post where it comes down to meet the right. I don't want to do it. You better do it yourself. Luis, can you take a look at the um, can you take a look at the master? Let me sure. show you that. So, yeah. so this is all that's gonna be closet. Closet's gonna go into the other room. Yeah. Wow. This is all coming out. This is all gonna be painted. So this is gonna be this is gonna go in there and back there. So we're gonna take two. some of the pantry. Yes. Okay. And, and we're gonna get so. rid of this door. That's where I need some stucco. Yes, okay. this is all going, we're going to block this. and this is going. So the shower is now going to be like... It's going to be this way, tubs going to be... We can show you some plants too, yeah. without sure, plants. Yeah. So the we want glass, it's all open. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. glass all, all the way down. Yourself, there's a knee wall. I'll show you, there's knee wall over here and then there's a knee wall over here for where the toilet's going to be now over here and the tub's going to be over here. In the corner, yeah. Yeah, and like here? in the corner. No knee wall in there? Uh, well, you'll need a knee wall for the cabinet because the cabinets are going to go right here. Right. Yeah. And that shower goes inside that way, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So we're gaining like um, I think out. four feet that That's way. That's all going out. I do the same this thing is all being closed. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. It's so yeah. small. Now yeah. I build this so hitch. The, yeah. the, the water yeah. limit hit yeah. the glass. That closet's okay. coming out. Yep. And this will be all open, double sink, you know, double vanity. You're going to have to find a plaster guy to make this exactly same plaster. Is that Sometimes something you guys could do? Kind of do this sprawl right. thing? Okay. okay. I mean, if you're talking just a little spot somewhere, you know. Well, the other thing we could do in here is because this we're gutting this, we could just yeah. go level four or finish. You know, we could just. Oh. Yeah. Mike can do drywall too, so. Um, yeah. I would say let's do that print here. Because, yeah. you know, yes, it up. let's do that yeah. print yeah. here. If you're going to just, you know, close the door and things, you know, and it's going to be. All over. You know, right. You're ripping off the railing, all the boards going out. Right. It'd be hard to match. Yeah. Repair, and that's going to have to be done. Right okay. Way. So we'll need a Manny, we'll need to get. And there's not that much drywall either. Yeah. yeah. Michael, we're, Mike and I are doing the drywall. So. Yeah. <laughs> not Mike is doing the drywall. <laughs> I'm, I'll hold the hammer. Into. The GC. I know. Oh, yeah. That's, that's them. I'll hold the hammer yeah. and hand it to him. <laughs> I gotta be here on the first day. So this thing's coming out. Yes. This, this is all cabinet's coming out. coming out. We're gonna do furniture, new this furniture stays. in here. This stays. But it's gonna be painted. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Okay, so 
Yeah. We said that's that's it. The showers and then the the glass doors and yeah. then possibly the glass. The plants. Yes, Put I can get those shower. to you. At least yes. I'll give you an idea. Yep, yeah. I'll be sending that. We're uh, Britannia's doing last measurement, and then I'll send you something a little bit more even accurate than what we have. Yeah, so I can have yeah. an idea. Give yeah. some quotes for cladding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not too expensive. Mm -hmm. but I think that will look Got nice. It. Cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More modern looking. Yes, yes, yes. What color is going to be the post? They got it right here. Oh, uh, it's going to be the post out here. Ball. Black. Black, yeah. Flat, like uh -huh. satin. Yes. Satin, satin black. black. Yeah. yeah. Awesome yes. Yeah. The whole, and then, of course, the, all the floor is going to look like this concrete. So it's, we're kind of, we're changing it to feel like a New York loft, like a more industrial, modern. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, you know, it's interesting. We were talking about it, and she made a comment about this stain. So I just need to confirm does she want to paint it or not? Does her and Adam want to paint it or not? So, I think they're going. I think the closet is, and the master bath is going to be the biggest of the win wins for them. It's going to help them so much better live. I mean, they just need more space. And then look at this, too. This is going to all be better when we get the stackable. Now we have all the plans. These are coming out. Oh, you know what, Mike? What about. The fan, this, can we redo this, put that fan somewhere else? I would rather have one light right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you, man. Okay. It's just work. Well, obviously, there's, there's going to be four joists because there's a second mm -hmm. story above there, so we'll have to move it in a place where there's not a joist. But yes. Yeah, we can move it. So I would say there's one light here. Problem, right. So it's going to have to be. And then move that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Once we get it, we'll be able to get a better idea. We're going to end up pulling some drywall to figure out where things can go. I know, right? Yeah. 30 days, though. No problem. 30 days. 30 days. It starts to finish. No problem. GC guy knows. 30 days. So this is probably another room. We'll probably end up doing regular drywall finish. We'll see how it goes. And so this wall is coming out. And then we'll paint, you know, walls and ceiling, wall, ceiling, and trim. That door's coming out, so that we'll, we're going to wall that in. We're going to so do all that. One big closet. Then. Correct. Correct. Wow. And those windows will stay. Yes. So we'll have to paint those. So then we have primarily cabinets in here. So we're going to redo the laundry room, and then we're redoing the pantry. So this is where we're getting the master from. So this door is going to shift. See, this is block. This is holding up the whole house. Oh, this yeah. this little safe room here, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and so we're gonna bring this doorway is gonna shift as far. You know, I'm gonna shift the doorway to you know roughly here, okay. and we're gonna capture you know a good you know three feet of this for the master. Gotcha. So hopefully you know we're gonna find out you know load bearing. We're gonna find out what to do there. Uh, but when we demo it, we'll you know, we'll get a better idea of okay. you know, what that's going to look like. But so this will be primarily cabinets, just a little bit of paint on the, some of the trim. Mm -hmm. We're doing a false, so there'll be a false door here, like a cabinet. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. But like this is all tiled, tile. You know, so we're tiling the whole the whole backsplash area. Okay. So the biggest job is. Yeah. Okay. Megan, Sean, you're up. And then upstairs too, David. One of the areas that um, Adam had a concern about was um, doing the ceiling, but doing this in a vertical or horizontal, but how it's going to meet in this corner here. Right. Um, obviously, if, if we go up that way here, but it's all running out like that, you're going to have this weird joint. Right, mm. yeah. right, right. So Megan just made a suggestion there. And, um, run it by you if we pick a, a, a dark color tile that matches this grout and then you run a four inch border all around the ceiling you're going to have separation between these lines and the lines on the ceiling okay that is true okay this is coming this valence is coming out oh yeah for sure okay yeah. that valence is coming out we're going to get rid of the ceiling fan we're going to cut in a bunch of yeah, lights because up the this tile continues to go though up on the ceiling yeah that's the, the and it's fine coming up here because you will, you will end up getting that when right. they match. Right. But when you hit this 45 here, 
you're going to get like gonna, a weird. It's going to look slightly yeah. different. Yeah. So to, to make a separation there with a, maybe a four inch dark tile that matches the grout, just bordering this ceiling, you're you're going to have that separation that you yeah. won't see those joint those lines meeting. That's your call, Laurel. That's not my call. Oh. Yeah, it's something to think about, but you don't want the these don't lines won't it. match up. Right. At this I point get here. that, and that was a good thought on Adam's yeah. part. All right, I got to figure I, this I out. I think turning this in a different plane to the the walls right. will help, but I think at this point here, your your eyes are going to get drawn right. to these I get 45 that. angles. Yep, and that's going to look weird. Yeah. Okay, so, okay, let's revisit that. Okay. Yeah. Um, but that's a good call right there. We'll, we'll draw this out and give you some options either way. Yeah. I think what we might do is not bring it on the ceiling, do it on the wall, and we do something up else up there. More solid. Yeah. More solid or do it vertical paint on the wall it still? or paint it in the color of the grout. So maybe it's just... Oh, yeah. You know, I think that would be yeah. really pretty. Painted the color of the grout, so it kind of goes, and then you've got these black cabinets that are going to go up to kind of yeah. this grayish color. Okay, so you know, this is going to be, this is yes. going to be enclosed. That's the master bath. This is the pantry. Mm -hmm. Right, gonna so we're going to shift the, the doors. The laundry room. room. This is going to be stackable cabinets, painted, is this wallpaper. Um, okay, yeah. let's see here. Shoot. Maddie, this is the headboard wall where we have an actual, uh, like more or less a wood wall, but yep. it is, okay, so this is where I have to find out from Colette. I thought we were painting all this. Yeah, we are. Okay. Yeah. Because she said that we got the wood, which we just got to confirm with her, but this is where that, but we're only doing it on the, the, the question is, the king size you doing and then. It just on the bed or yes. do you want to do it over the nightstands? So oh, oh mm, what was my drawing? I have a... Your drawing was just over the bed. Sconces, yeah, yeah. above the nightstands. So we did... Yeah, because and then we also had an install picture that she loved. Yes, so it is... So the is, size of a king-size bed is, is what you want? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe just a little bit, so 83 to 85 mm. inches, just a little bit bigger. Okay. Yeah. All right, so that's... We'll just use it. Okay. And we need to decide. I think she chose black. She chose black. She chose black. So we just got to confirm with that too. Okay. Yeah. What color are you painting this thing? Don't know yet. Okay. <laughs> There's been some negotiations. <laughs> one wants one thing, one wants another. I want one thing, I want another. <laughs> so we'll figure that out. Yeah. Once the floor, I want to get samples of the floor in here and the light. Yeah. It, yeah. It, Paint color changes so much you can recommend one thing and you get it on the wall and the lighting completely changes. Right now these are not going to be the lights that we have in here. So once I get the right lighting, the right floor, we'll put some samples up on the wall and that's where we'll finalize the paint colors. Okay. Right. So okay, any other questions? What about the master bath? Any the master bathroom, I just, uh, have you had a drawing done of the actual footprint, the new footprint? Yes. We mm -hmm. have that. Yes. So you Megan should have that. Yes. Okay, so obviously it's not built, so we can't measure anything there, but we've got, we'll take all our measurements from that plan. Right. Um, so no, we're good. I, I do need to get upstairs and just measure out for the carpet, like in situ. And right. I'll check the staircase as well. So nothing's really okay. going to happen with the staircase as far as you're not reforming it, you're not opening it up. You're going to rip, rip the carpet up and put the tile on top of the, yeah, the, the so treads. Yeah, so we're going to yeah. put um, probably three quarter inch ply to build it out, and then we're mm -hmm. just going to be up and over. Gosh. Do a finish. One of the things we need to talk about is that bathroom upstairs. Okay. We yeah, decide we'll not it. to refinish it, but are we going to refinish it? Yeah, let's go look at it. That would be yeah. more tile. That'd be we in your department. We've got all this, department. got all that. Okay. I've got a question here for you, Matt. Do you want us to run a tile across here? I think that would well, make sense. And then so. transition to the carpet floor. Yes, because, and that's where the door is going to be. The gate, okay. yeah. So the little gate, yeah. So I would say yes. Okay. Uh, okay. What are we going to do about this bathroom? Are we going to change this out? Yeah, I think we have to. Adam said do it. Okay. So <laughs> you do your thing there and okay. tell me what we need to Same do. Same floor. All right. As everywhere else, right? Well, or not. No, probably no. not. <laughs> no, for probably it. not. I'll do something so different in here. So, but we'll tr we'll change all right. this all, and then it'll be just a shower. I mean, there, it's not going to be like that walk. Just uh, yeah. Um, there's no way we could leave this, especially 
you know, guests and stuff. Okay. So, new vanity, we will tile, see what this is all going to come out. That means this wall is going to be, I'll probably tile this whole thing, including this up here. Do you want to take this soffit out right here? I mean, it's going to be tough to tell until we tear it up, tear into it. Okay. All right. So we'll plan. What we'll plan for is just a seal, uh, to tile the ceiling, okay. and bring the bring it all the way up. I mean, that's a low. That's low. If any guests, kind of on the taller side. About seven foot. Yeah. You know, Maddie. Maybe we don't make this a closet. <laughs> I know, right? Once you get up here, it's like I almost would rather see this, the railing out there. And they're not gonna, they don't need more storage in the house. So maybe I create this into like a little reading lounge area. Yeah. Maybe putting the lounge down there with a little light. I like it. I like not building the closet. Okay, then let's well, start. Well, it would be a weird closet anyway, because you got this. The, well, that's, that's what right. I was just seeing as this kind of. And it, it, if this is done really nicely, too, if you do sit up here, you're kind of overlooking all this. Right, cool. and this right. And it's going to open it way up without all this big fat rail. I would agree. I would agree. Let's, got to tell Billy. It's a lot less work trying to build a wall here and having to drywall this side well, of things. Well, I know. And I just think now being up here, seeing it where this beam goes all the way down into the wall. It'd be, I don't, it's like I don't want to take that away. Yeah. I want how it all works. Okay. Okay. Being upstairs feels a whole lot different than being downstairs looking up, but that being the railing, I think I want to see more of the railing. Yeah. So can we, Laurel, this, like these lights, can we do something? We need more light. You need more light in here. So can we do some giant chandeliers with a billion lights on, you know? But then it doesn't, you're putting a fan right there, right? Fan's gonna go in the middle, theoretically. Uh, right here, right? The, right here, in the middle. So where would you want to put Why would you put the, the, okay, just question. The fan is pure function. I know that, no, I'm gonna say, what would you want to put the light if we did the fan in the middle? Where well, would where the go? lights are, But wait, Manny, new lights. Let's talk about this. This fan yeah. will, create some kind of breeze here, but what about for down there? No, Why we don't need it for the breeze. We need to get, the, the fan is just for the mold, just so for air. To reverse and draw air but that's through. what I'm saying, so why wouldn't we put it there? So that Because I need light. Where are you gonna get lights from? We're gonna do the recess. Well, you can only do maybe one more set of recess, which means this entire center section of the house has no light. Okay, so then wonder if, we talk an industrial loft, Wonder if we did some kind of cable lighting. Oh, it could do that. You could also, if it's industrial look, you could also do it. Do it in a nice. If you did an industrial box or a conduit. You could do that too. You know, it could all get painted anyway. It would look industrial. You could even leave it, you know, galvanized if you wanted to. It just isn't proportioned to me. Like you've got a light here, a light here, and a fan right there, and yet your living space is out there. It it doesn't. It doesn't feel right to me. See, we can't just cut lights in wherever we want. No, I get that. I know that. So, but we um, need lot we need like as much we need light. So what we need a solution would be if we get get something aesthetically pleasing that's surface mounted, then we can do lights where we want. Right. Tie into like like so we know we have power there, right? And tie into that. If we had something that was aesthetically pleasing we could surface mount some fixtures or surface mount because they make a they make a standoff for cans too mm -hmm, that you mm -hmm. can run in wire into and then half the cans out half the cans in but it trims it out see what i thought we would do is we'd come up one more row of lights as far as we can get it up i right? agree so one more that's about all we're going to be able to get oh wait no two sets another three but straight above the three but it'd have to be five feet from there yeah but then that leaves us our entire void here like in the middle of the room. And that's where this light, if we had a, a Okay, better. so one of the ideas, okay, see these two here? Because we could move those down and make them more modern uh, lights. Which, which, that, what are you these about? two right here. The sconces. The two sconces there, mm -hmm. bring them down and make them more modern 
Something that came out like this? Yes, correct. Okay. That's going to face down because that's where we need. So that would give us light right in there. Because yeah. this is going away. We're not doing any hanging chain no. light. No, all, right? no, no. So if you got the, the wall, the tiling going to the ceiling over here, we could put sconces in the, in the um, concrete and bring those, let's say just for a better, bring those down. So we'll have two sconces there. We have those lights there. And then over here we could do a, a floor lamp over there in that space. And then this right here might be an issue. But let's look at this. Well, the other thing we could do to get light out here is we could... We're going to have all the cabinets will have under cabinet lighting. But what we could do is something because the cans are underneath where Mike's standing now. Right. right. If we did a, a light like you're talking about that cans over and we mounted it right here and right there, it would catch... Right the, the, here and right here? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, if you could do that, that yeah, would be can, cool, too. We're gonna be, we're gonna, it's just that ceiling. There's power in that ceiling already for those cans. So I could put something here and there that kind of hangs over. Okay, this was this, this was on my list. We were going to talk about where to put these lights. So They'd have to be, you know, like one right in between here and the cap, top of the cabinet somewhere, and then one over there. Okay. Well, it's supposed to look kind of cool. Now, what about the whole, what's the lighting that you're using? What do you mean? Light, the lighting company they're using. The EMF? Yeah. Yeah, the EMF and Cree. Okay. Do they have any kind of. No. They no. just make light bulbs. Light bulbs. Recessed lights, light bulbs. Okay. Yeah, they Which don't, they don't are make. They're going to look a whole lot better than these, right? Yeah, but. These look like a ship. Yeah, this is a problem. Ship. That's a big problem. We got to figure bigger. out. Because they're bigger. Yeah, because there's that stupid eight inch angled nonsense, uh -huh. which does nothing but. I'd actually want the lights to shine straight out, not straight down. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. mm -hmm. Like putting a light right there, I'm okay with that one. Well, the other thing we could put too, a we could put it like a chandelier over there. We could, if I mean, we had to, we could get rid of those, and we just have. How to get amazing some more are pine, these lights, though? Uh, they're stunning. Mm -hmm. But they're just not. That's just too much work. That's like a three, four days worth of work. It is. It would be a lot of work. Yeah. Well, For what? Because you have to, to patch in, to take those out, and move them around, and then get some more uh, pine TNG and fix all that because they're uh -huh. anything. But it's a lot of work. Right. Right. That's why yeah. it's a surface mat. Do something that if we could find something that adds light out in this area here. Yeah. Well, I yeah. love I love this idea. That idea. Doing yeah. some kind of sconces that I just. Yeah. Working on this other project, and we just put some in in a big trophy room. You know what? You got, you got to light the whole area. There's a giant chandelier right there. Up here. Correct. Yeah. That would light the whole room. Which Not, I would be okay with, and we would bring it down. Because we could mount it off that where, that, yeah. where it all comes together, where those three come together. Okay, that. so that would be, that would feel better. That well, would feel more proportioned instead of, it, I mean, this just feels... Not only. Yeah, we're gonna need a scissor from here, Maddie. Yeah. I think you can sneak. Some well, once here. they're once they're painting. Because they, they have a We gotta get all our work done. Oh yeah. Paint paint no, no I know, but they could if they so could get this earlier. Yeah, it's true. Yep. There's a, uh, there's a two by eight on the bottom of your beam. Uh huh. That's where they buy your wood to. Yeah. But this is hollow here because it's ivy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I gotta. I gotta so Laurel, what I was saying is. I was gonna say. Okay. We're gonna have a fan tucked up in the middle of this thing. Okay. Big old 82, 80 fan. It's going to be as close to the ceiling as we can get it. Just so moving. Create Just, another uh, cross beam like that? Yeah. And come from that one to that one. So yeah. then oh. bringing this light over or a light over to that, right. bringing that, hanging that down. Have you got some big wrought iron there? looking thing with as many light bulbs on it as you can get a hold of. Yeah, I can't wait to see what you're going to pick out. Let me just tell you restoration hardware. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you love RH, right? It's so but You good. know what I'm saying? I don't care yes. about what it looks like. I, we just need light bulbs yes. to light this up. Yes, I got it. So we need one right there. We're going to do two sconces over there. Two sconces over there are the wall yeah. extension ones. We'll do a light right here. Okay. We're gonna do we're gonna do recessed here where that hanging is. We're gonna try to get a couple recessed okay. fixtures in there. Well, then that's. We're gonna get our extra recessed fixtures over here. Okay. So we have six more. 
it'll all be on dimmer. So right. if there's right. no such thing as too much light. Right. There's only too little light. So this one goes away. Well, no, because what are we going to light this with? Because you got these, what well, you got right here. I don't yeah, think no. you need a fan right there. So put the recess right there. And yeah, it's only three. Not enough. Well, then you will have tables with table lamps. Yeah, the color's off. Yeah. I'm you know, less concerned. I'm less concerned about this area, but, Watch but yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'll need to write all this down. Yeah, that's what I'm going to go. Okay. So I'm going to go room by room and start I writing stuff down. I don't know if we have, I mean, that's, is that in the budget? No, well, we don't have a choice. Either they're going to have a dark house or we got to spend the money on it. Yeah, this was the main reason I needed to come out here was the lighting part. All the other part. I need to make sure with all the team. I think everyone, it's been really good. We, we yeah. were meeting a little bit before you got here, and I think yeah. it's really good. Everybody knows what they're doing. Yep. I think we got really good subs So coming. we got this figured out. We got this yeah. figured out. All right, I'm going to go room by room with lighting. Okay, all right. Sounds good. Fan, just one fan. What did we decide upstairs in the loft? Because we'll have, we can have two table lamps on the nightstands. That should be plenty. If you go into a bedroom, there's no recessed lightings. All right, you're getting ahead of me here. So okay. how do we jump from that to? He, 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 right, he, he. So we're still in the kitchen. Kitchen. All okay. right, so the kitchen, I've got six square recess fixtures here. I've got okay. two extended sconces coming off the edge. Mm -hmm. I've got under cabinet lighting going underneath the cabinets. Mm -hmm. And three I've got three right coffee here. bar sconces up there. Yeah. Okay. Got it. That's a then, ton of light around. Then the mud room, we've got two extended sconces where, right. off of that wall. Yep. And I'm going to do four recessed fixtures in the ceiling off of the, you know, the switch that's there. That's so that'll take plenty. care of that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now let's go to the family room. One big chandelier. One so we're gonna really big chandelier. we're gonna run some conduit from the current. See, the only thing that's great about the spot that's there is there's a cable, and that cable system allows those lights to come down, so you can change the light bulbs. So maybe I do like a, a you know modern spinnaker that has kind of the uh, like different tier different, thingies. Yeah, so that one of those glow arms, book and thingies. Yeah, that. something yeah, yeah. like that. So then it, you just leave it where it is, but it looks kind of like it is right. balanced in the room. Yeah. But it's because it. And then because we need to be able to bring it back down to mm -hmm. get to change the bulbs. And remember, there's that pulley system up there where those things come down. So you're thinking about same spot. Different light, but same spot. Hang it lower yeah. with a different light, yeah. and and put more lights, the better, Laurel. The more lights. Yeah, yeah. I already, I already got yes. that. Stop, stop distracting me. Okay. Foyer. All right. She's, she's all of the. We got to stay yes, straight. Sir. So we got the foyer. <laughs> got a chandelier. Okay. Now let's go into the pantry. We discussed this. You were just going to do recess, recess in there. Yeah. Well, I've got to pick how many. Let's see. Okay. So the pantry's going to be. I do two. Yep. Just two. Two. And under cabinet. It's going to be narrower. So we're going to have under cabinet and. Yes. Yeah. Are we the soffit there. Okay. I'm going to have to go count light switches. I'll figure that out. And here we've got recessed. So we're gonna have probably one, two, three, four. Showers five above that, six. So, you know, I could probably, I mean, I can have Kyle and the team come out and design the lighting system once I, so I, I guess I don't need to nail that down here today. The switches and all that. Yeah. I mean, I can have them come out and take care of that. That's going to take a little bit of weight. I was just saying, um, I'm going to have, once we start demoing the place and I start figuring out, we caught in lighting, I can have one design team come out 
and then count all the light switches and yeah. picos and all that for me. I was thinking I needed to figure that out now, but I don't need to do that. I don't have a depth there I want for my sink. We've got a cabinet that's like normal, you know, standard, whatever. Okay, but Maddie, could we put it off to the side? Because it, it, do, it does have a pull, pull down. So let's... It's all standard cabinet depth, you know, it has okay. to be for all appliances okay, and stuff. Okay, so here's the, here's the question. Um, if we, what kind of sink did you, we, we picked out an undermount? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, no, we picked out a, a farmhouse, so it comes mm. out a little bit further, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. So that will give us a little bit more depth right here. Yeah, okay. So I think we'll be okay. I think so too. Maybe take this off. Could we somehow take these off or shave them down? Or could Maybe, you, yeah. You know. Well, the water wheel, because the wheel comes out. I just wonder how that's going to look. Because, like, let me look at your picture that you sent. Uh, let's see. I think you're perfectly fine with that because yeah. our, our sink is going to come out because we did the apron sink, so it's going to give us a little bit more mm -hmm. um, depth. That's a nice piece. Isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> I'm, nice. I'm going to put this in another project, I'm too. Flying to Cal I'm flying oh, to California go to go, okay. to go Nikki wanted ink me to this come deal. Out and check it out. Can we, can we so, talk about how much that, that is retail? I think it's like 13 mm -hmm. thousand. Yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't think it was hundred. <laughs> hundred eighty sure bucks. You know <laughs> one eighty, one ninety. All of our allowances. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Here. Plumbing. I have to get a faucet for this bathroom and now upstairs. Mm. Oh, and now not only that, then I have to do the shower suite with it. Mm-hmm. Yes and tile okay. i don't want to i don't want to push my luck with uh waterstone i'm already at like oh, 180 no. g's or something like no, that no they're doing ma just master in kitchen we're good yeah we're good if mm. they'll do that that's incredible yeah incredible and then and the two-tone is stunning the black and gold mm, it's pretty cool it's gonna be beautiful but we're gonna cut in i'm gonna get rough ends we're gonna cut in for like sonant's in wall speakers yeah. I want to do floor standing, so we got to do that. He showed me the speakers he wanted. Yeah, I'm like, Maddie, no. Look like a bachelor pad again. No, <laughs> no. I just, I know that she's thinking. She's thinking that's a bachelor pad. It's like. How dare you make be, it sound good and function would, well? It would yeah. be incredible if it was in a theater room, but it's in the smack dab of the middle of the family room. I'm talking about like ten thousand dollar cherry speakers. You know, it'd be perfect. Or gloss black. I don't think Michelle went for it the last time either. Oh, she did give in this year. This house. Every house. There's no option. Maddie's in charge. Hundred percent. All right, master bath. Did you? Did we figure out the tub yet? Mm, I have options for her. Okay, good. Are we doing freestanding? Freestanding. Yeah. So and then we're doing that. I know. That's for the Waterstone. The Waterstone yeah. suite. It's stunning. Mm, I'm sure. It's stunning. I'm sure. I don't even want to touch While those pictures. While you're there, you can pick up a couple for me. Yes. It's just beautiful. I yeah. ended up, I'm specking it. Two more projects. It's just beautiful. Yeah. So Waterstone oh, there. Yeah. Uh-huh. Waterstone and the, and the, both the shower. So we're going to have this 36 inch rain big shower. hunk of metal rain shower. It's the coolest freaking thing like I've ever seen in my life. Plumbing. <laughs> it's going to be insane. No, because the way that they do it internally, each one of the little outlets has its own tubing. Oh, so it's so not it's just that. funneling so it's to the super well and just evenly distributed. Correct. One, so yes. one has its even own low cycle. flow. Yeah, it's yes. going to be an amazing. Yes, cool. it's something that's, that's gonna be perfect for obsessed garage mm -hmm. projects because of the quality of oh, it. Oh, yeah. And the way I'm going to sell yeah. like a thousand of those things. I need to be on a dealer for that sucker. Yeah. Although I have no idea how much it costs, but I think it's, I wonder, it's not yeah. cheap. It's probably like four grand, five it's grand. Somewhere you buy it, you just I, you have to take long showers because you spent so much money on that sucker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, that's a wrap for today. We got everything figured out, I think. Or maybe not everything, but a lot of things figured out. I think it's going to be really amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I feel good about lighting. I was kind of worried about this area in the middle here, and I think we've solved that problem. Yeah. Um, I also feel a lot better. I don't have to do lighting control now, so I can do that later. Right, right. And then we got the glass guy figured out. That was something I was worried about. Um, 
Both. I'm kind of a little bit nervous about what the painting quote's gonna be. <laughs> That's what I'm more worried about. I'll work with David. Yeah. 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 Well, it ended up being a whole, I mean, it's a lot. It's ceiling. That's a big deal. Yeah, they're going to be here for a week. But it's yeah. not like it's a 5,000 square foot house. True. So yeah. smaller on the yeah. scale. Yeah. So it might not be as bad as what you think. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think it's going to be really okay. great. We'll catch up with you guys. Um, we're probably going to be several months before our next update. Uh, because we don't now we need to order you know mm -hmm. we're now we need to spend the money order the stuff I guess next time we'll see you guys on this on this project will be a demo which yeah. could be possibly you know as early as first week in November maybe as late as for first week in January depending on how we can line up all the stuff the tiles not too bad to get those nope. guys got we're that good. licked mm -hmm. the um, cabinets we got the kitchen cabinets licked the appliances are pretty readily available and easy to get. It'll be the fabrics and the furniture stuff. Um, and, you know, technically we could have, so let's say, let's say the, 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 the furniture was four months out or five months out. I mean, if we start the project at three months, by the time the project is done, yeah. the furniture arrives. Yeah, I don't think the furniture is going to be that. Uh, 12 yeah. weeks would be max to me. Right, and right. Uh, we're going to go next Friday and go shopping in Atlanta. That's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. We'll send you some pictures. Okay, cool. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you, hope you enjoy this project. This is something new to me, something that I'm going to find out if I have a real interest in this kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, do I, what, what part of this project uh, am I really interested in representing and providing to people in the future? I'm not sure. So we're going to try it and find out. Maybe it's none of it. See you soon. Thanks.